Cast, and I'm here today to join you on the All Things Health and Wealth show today. And today we are bringing a few things to you that are going to just be absolutely insane and exciting. But let's get straight in to the content for the video. Oh, before we do that, if you haven't yet come to my page, please do so. You know, during these bear markets and these times, crypto videos tend to go. So please do whatever you can to get me growing and flowing. And uh, of course, sharing a lot more energy and a lot more videos with you guys. I took a little bit of a break. I decided to have some family time over the strong end and it was absolutely fantastic and fun. So thank you for that. I do greatly appreciate it. And uh, let's get straight into it. Come over First, hit the videos, hit the like buttons, let's get to it and let's have some fun here in our videos and our content because right now, this is where we're at and what are we doing. I have a heater under my table right here and um, it's freezing but uh, we had some rain here in Georgia, very interesting time after that kind of weather because um, we don't normally run around in Jasper. but no problem, let's get to it okay so first of all i'd like to share with you guys um where we close and i'm going to show you something at the end of the video so that you stay and watch my whole video and um that is super exciting that we're doing with some excellent south africans and um yeah we'll get on to that soon so please for now gonna have a look at the Oh, even though we had some good buy volume, yes, the stochastic is very oversold, over over it's not all the way down yet. Um, the weekly candle yesterday closed in quite a tremendous. This for me shows a change in direction, okay? But it could be a temporary change in direction because we are under extreme difficult places so first of all we're, we broke out of the wedge weekly candle right here on on two weeks ago candle when we had that nasty downfall uh, we broke out of the descending wedge okay downwards which doesn't normally happen because they're supposed supposed to really break up but we also broke down from this symptom channel okay which was holding support for a number of years and then on Top of it, broke my red line. We broke red line, and we closed below my red line, and we closed below on the 200 moving average. So I'm not going to average here, but that is something everybody's looking at because every time Bitcoin held, it didn't really trade 200 moving average, and the 200 moving average is currently sitting. I'm going to say to you guys that my yellow line, I put that yellow line in on Friday because actually this yellow line is a representation of where we actually have to break out, find some support and push back up. Okay. This is a very, very critical level. That level is at 22,300. Okay. If we, or just call it round it off to 23,000. Let's, yeah, there you go. 23,000. If we can't break back up above this and close the candle, a weekly candle above it and find some retest it and find some support and continue then i'm going to say to you that the likelihood is that we would be rejected from the yellow plus the, which is a 200 moving average plus forward moving average which is um sorry this descending up to my top red line here which is the resistance over here um, and right now we're it bounced down to previous all-time highs, okay, to the 20k level, and we're busy sitting at around 21,300 this morning. So, absolutely awesome. But if I have to look at it at the end of the day, as much signal, that's a really good signal, and so much are showing very, very, very good signals. I'm not going to show you any of those charts because it's not what I necessarily do here. Um, um, but right now, uh, there could be a little bit more consolidation period. We could bump down a little bit more. And like I said to you guys, my personal view is 9,085. My top I actually put out a Twitter post. So go over and Twitter channel. Find it. Come over and click right here. You'll find it. 
Um, but I put out to say that we could see a downfall of $9,035. So now I'd like to share this with you that, wow, um, obviously we had the high CPI reading uh, recently, high inflation rates and high uh, um, disastrous CPI, excuse me. So what we're going to see over the next few months is a latent effect. So that poor CPI reading is going to continue to follow, especially with July 4th coming up right now. It's the first um, big American holiday that um, obviously is within the space. And of course, because the dollar is in America, then we what, what it is that we're looking at is the numbers reading out of there because that's going to affect the rest of the world because the world trades on the dollar. Now, I heard some very, very interesting stuff, which I'm going to share with you. It's a little bit from an emotional perspective in the uh, finance world, but I don't want to get onto that just yet. So just give me a moment. And basically what I saw here was that the potential because of those bad readings that the next three, four, five, maybe six months and uh, Chamath Palapapatiya, he also mentioned this exact same thing that CPI readings and CPI numbers, if they come in, uh, obviously just crashing a lot worse over the next few months from now to uh, Rocktober, um, then what we're going to see is like a a slow move in the market. We're going to see consolidation or more downside is the very likelihood of where the markets could trend. Now, with that being said, the markets have a way of when news comes out today, yes, it might react, but we actually have a latent effect in the market where even though things get priced in ahead of time, that still people like retailers, retail buyers, they come into the market based on certain points and they tend to buy, retail market tend to buy when, oh, everybody is doing so well and they all buy Yeah, I'm also guilty of, I, I don't know too much about this space at this point, um, up until, until you know, right now we're there and we're sitting at that level. And I must say, I feel extremely confident in my portfolio and, and where it is that it's going. Just in this for the long term, not for the short term. And if you're in it for the short term and you're only, and you're from December, last December, I'll lose money. Um, and then vice versa, if you're only from July to November, you'll make lots of money. So it's just depending the timing of it. I mean, you can get, nobody can predict the bottom. When you do this, turn around. The candle is here. There's a turnaround candle. There's a turnaround candle. Right now, good signal. We just need to be patient because actually, um, the level that we've broken. Of and check this candle, this red candle. If I look at the bottom of that candle, where did it close? Okay, it closed above the 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 top of all of these candles, above the purple box, which is phenomenal, guys. It's a really good signal. So I'm not saying it is signal. And the blue line here on the stochastic is really trying its very hardest to try and get up. Okay, and flat on stochastic since. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six weeks ago already. Okay, we've been very flat, but on the RSI, we've been low, pull lower. Okay, we're still sitting at the 30 level. If this get under to the 20, the 20 odd level, 22 odd level, I will see an extremely oversold Bitcoin. And I'm going to tell you something that we would then definitely be due for an upper. We've seen how long this can sit sideways for, even though. Like crazy. I mean, look here, this dropped like a potato potatoes falling out of an aeroplane um, and literally it didn't do a thing here. So be cautious, expect the worst and prepare for the best. Okay, that's what you should be doing. So my person, okay, okay. 
Now, I want to just show you the form here quickly. The four time frame is really trying. It's very hard to get above the ribbon here it looks like it's finding some support it looks like it may want to try and rally up and like i said to you look at my yellow line. it's re meeting resistance here okay so yes we have a little triangle here that we broke out of but we haven't actually even tested that triangle so i'm going to say to you that this is the first point here this 22,000 level the breakout this point here is definitely this 23,000 level at my yellow line standing wedge the top of this this line Guys, if we can break past that, we should have some sort of relief rally. And like we all know, it should be up to the 25, 26K level. So it's going to be up to the this level here. More or less, I'm going to say to you, the 26, 27,000 level. Guys, that's the from the head and shoulders pattern here. But I'm not feeling confident. Feel lower, lower, lower. And uh, you broke a little bit. This one, but that's still really insignificant because we did a knock it back down. So, for me, it makes sense to get into um, a trade for Bitcoin necessarily, even though they may have taken their trades down at 17 or 19,000. That's phenomenal. Um, I mean, there should be some sort of rally, but if we get up here, that would be roll over here creating another lower high okay what does that mean for us that means we're definitely going to be coming down from that point now on the day time frame yes our stochastic i mean our rsi might be oversold but our stochastic is uh, sorry over oversold is overbought so there is con um what it is that our volume has to do like nothing so, uh, I mean, our volume levels are very, very um, low. So, right now, volume low. We're waiting for something to happen in the market. And, um, the 4th of July is that uh, potential moment. So, that's next week, Tuesday. Uh, is it next week, Tuesday? Next week, Monday. Next week, Monday, because Friday is the 1st. So, on Thursday, we should see a monthly closed candle. We should also see a, a weekly close at the end of the week. And um, let's go and have a look. Monthly candle, we're still way, way, way. Out. And if we close under the ribbon, oh my goodness me, guys, that that might be the first time we've had a monthly close below the ribbon, uh, which didn't really close. Uh, so there's a lot that is going on here. Let's have a look at Ethereum. It's exactly the same as Bitcoin. Right, doing the same, the same the patience, the same model. Ethereum might come and reach up here at 1,500, and then we might see a little bit of a roll at the very, very maximum, the 1,700 odd mark. And then we should see a first little bit. Um, on the which target as well. Leave me. Hello. Hello. Stocks did a little bit of a rally on Friday, which is great. They closed up. They closed back inside the river. It's phenomenal. There might be a little bit of a rally up, but look, we're starting to reach up the area yet again. This is going to start towards the over. It might get to be great. Guys, all of in pain. Okay. We're going to see some. And if we see some, this is great, guys. Guys, look at the fall from there to here. It's not that much of a fall. It's not that much of a fall, considering how far we've come from. 
Um, but at the end of the day, this is still a 50% fall okay, from where we are. So if that is the case, I'd rather wait a little bit to this yellow line, see what happens at this yellow line, see what signal candles are at this yellow line, and then make a decision at this point. And cool, if I missed out buying at this 18,000 level, okay, okay but dollar hold portfolio at this level, okay, and that's what you should be Trading right now is a little bit scary because the risk, because the risk is less, it's still fun draw. So, uh, lots and lots of news. So, just be patient, just hang tight in there and uh, get some Bitcoin. Go huddle your portfolio, go get some. That's what you need to do. Let's get on to some of the fun, awesome stuff that I wanted to share with you guys from earlier on. And uh, basically, so over to OpenSea, you shall see our NFT crypto collection called Crypto Monks Peas. So, what is Crypto Monks? So, Crypto Monks is a collection of photographers and artists, incredible stories from all of these wonderful people. And they are mostly all based in South Africa. And what we are doing with these artists is we are creating a set of works. You'll see there's the one set of work in the background. I put some lion photo and I put a little Ellie here and basically a little wolf here. And what we're doing is we're blending photography. So wildlife photography in connection with uh, NFT art. So what we're doing is we're releasing NF real art in an NFT format. So there's a couple pieces of each of the art so that you can see. So basically, to, okay, let's go down to a nice one. A really very, very pretty one you can see. So Monk Gundy. <laughs> okay, let's use this one as an example. So this one is a piece of art uh, of this. There will only ever be three of these pieces and there will never be any more. So what we're doing is there's of course also only one original. So the original will be uh, at, at a higher price and the original will be sold with the NFT and that original will be then sent to that customer wherever they are in the world who purchased that NFT with the real art. Then they that get to buy it, get to hold a piece of that NFT but don't get to hold the real art. So the point of this Crypto NFTs project, Crypto Monks NFTs project, is to hold this beautiful art that just have created in super in beautiful value to the crypto space. As you can see, Trump, um, we've got really awesome things here. Look at this beautiful man. These are one of a kind pieces and uh, all, all three pieces, guys. And there will never ever be any more. how these what how these artists are seeing this nft space and how it comes about. so let's give you an idea here any of the rhinos and any of the wildlife but but particularly focusing on the rhinos what we're going to do is we're going to take a portion of uh the sale of the art all three pieces and we're going to donate that to the rhino rhino or wildlife rhino reserves around South Africa and we're going to support those uh, wildlife rhinos so that they have support from a financial perspective to look after them and protect their species and and obviously make sure that their species continues to thrive with a few of So, 
artificial energy. These, this has a case in using the fund entrepreneurial businesses. So at some point, we'd like to open up a digital artscaping studio where it brings that real world art to the digital space, the NFT space, and connecting them in a way that just really helps them explode their business across the internet because we know how difficult it is for artists to sell their work. And with such beautiful, incredible, definitely your hand. So here to OpenSea, come search crypto and do so and um, obviously helps support beautiful get on these point back absolutely amazing so we're going to do a variety of these kinds of of art pieces with the monkey i mean just going for a lot more than 81 ethereum yes uh these are artists and this the capital, a lot of the capital is going to be donated to the rhino uh, rhino reserves in South Africa. So, and that's to, again to help protect those species. So, wouldn't you want to do it? The same thing with lions. We will, will, will donate for the live art here, guys. This work is for, for come and support the South African artists. Come and support their in support doing, especially if you're a patriot and look what you can do. Look at the Newton war dogs. Very, very interesting. Putin, of course, you know, it's it's something happening with Putin. But I must say that myself, uh, I'm not really a fan of any of the government or any of their stuff. But Putin is trying to protect his country and his people and he's doing what he can. And America just keeps pointing the finger. So once America learns to take responsibility for their own life, and then uh, make know that they have a beautiful place in this world too and that nobody be against each other we're all being said come over to crypto monks open sea and purchase yourself a piece of art today and if you haven't yet come to my page or subscribe to me please come and do so give this video i really liked it and um, share this valuable content with everybody that you believe will obviously find joy in this Love you all and blessings to my beautiful community. Take care and have a wonderful day ahead. Love you all lots.